Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you my first thoughts on the Reefer Skimmer 300. Alright, welcome back everyone. So my Bubble King Skimmer died a couple of uh, days ago. Uh, it was the Bubble King Mini 160. The pump just stopped working and uh, I'm sending the pump of uh, my uh, Bubble King back to Germany to see whether there uh, is a fix for it. In the meantime, I didn't want to leave the tank running with no skimmer because, uh, you know, I feed really heavy and my nutrients are, are kind of mid to high range. So I just want to have a skimmer to just kind of keep things in, uh, in check. So I debated quite a bit about which one to uh, to get in the meantime or to possibly potentially replace the Bubble King long term. And, you know, I was really curious about the Red Sea skimmers. So uh, they released these about maybe uh, a year ago. There isn't a lot of information out there about uh, what they're like kind of long term. Uh, uh, two gay reefers on YouTube uh, uh, did uh, a review on them and uh, and they were kind of happy with it. On the forums, I, I did hear uh, some, uh, well, I heard no complaints of them working, uh, skimming the water, but there was kind of hit and a miss in terms of how quiet your unit will be. So uh, knowing that full in, I decided to go and, and get one. And I'm just going to open up the box, show you uh, what's there, and uh, put it in a little tub with vinegar water just to kind of uh, help with the break-in a little bit. And I'll put it in my sump and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm just showing you quickly the packaging here. It kind of comes as one big carton. I have a feeling it's going to be mostly assembled. Uh, it's held together by these rubber bands and I think this is the motor block. All right, let's see what's in there. All right, here is everything unpacked. So obviously you get the skimmer body, the bubble plate, the collection cup. One box contained this uh, extra hose uh, for drainage, the silencer, uh, I don't know what this is called, the volute, uh, that thing that goes on top where you collect the air hose, that's what it's called. Uh, and there is the, uh, the pump, I think these are like the CJ pumps, so it should be pretty solid. And uh, there is a nice kind of instruction manual. Okay guys, here it is fully assembled. It is a sexy looking beast, I think. I love the white and, uh, sorry, the clear and uh, red plastic. All right, uh, things that I like so far is all the screws are the same. So uh, it's, you know, you, you can't kind of uh, mix up uh, anything. Uh, I like that you could rotate the pump here so you could, or install it in different directions to so shoot the sump. Uh, two features that I really liked, and it was uh, partially why I chose this over other brands, is this has a built-in uh, skimmer, uh, sorry, built-in neck cleaner. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit lazy with maintenance, and uh, I had my own little, like, uh, squeegee. Um, I had cut up, like, a handle of a squeegee, and I would clean the neck of my Bubble King uh, every week, so that way I, could, I don't have to uh, drain the collection cup. And clean the collection cup uh, really often. Uh, so this one has a built-in, uh, like a manual neck cleaner, which uh, I like. It has a really long drainage uh, hose, so that way I, you know, I could take my laziness to the next level and potentially not have to clean this uh, in like six months or something. I just clean the neck with the manual neck cleaner and drain it with this little puppy. Uh, a couple of things that I don't like so far is that, uh, you know, I, I in my Bubble King I had uh, I had like some space here to hang uh, uh, <clears throat> what, what's the word the float switch so that way if uh, it overflows then the float switch would shut off the pump. Uh, there isn't an option to attach one here. I think I can I think I still make one by maybe like cutting a little hole here. So that's po uh, that's uh, that's good. Uh, a couple of, uh, two other things that I don't like so far is that uh, because of the neck cleaner is here. By the way, you could remove the neck cleaner if you don't want it. Uh, removing the actual, the cup, 
the lid here is a little bit difficult, requires a bit of force, and pushing the whole cup into the neck here requires a bit of force, uh, which yeah, I'm not too happy with. I don't like having to press things. Uh, there's always a potential of cracking. Uh, cracking the plastic. Uh, but so far I'm kind of impressed of how well this thing uh, looks and how well it fit together and uh, let's just see how it looks in the tank. One thing that I like to do before uh, putting a new skimmer in the tank is to just kind of break it in by running it in some water, uh, just fresh water and some vinegar. And you see this thing is kind of uh, filling up. Let's see if Strain works. And I'll run it like this for like a couple of, uh, maybe like an hour, maybe half an hour, it depends on how, uh, how busy I am. Uh, but I really want to get this in the tank, so I might just, you know, have it running for uh, half an hour and then put it straight on. Hey guys, so the skimmer has been in the sump for uh, about 12 hours now and it's actually, uh, it's starting to skim. Uh, I, you know, I maybe expected that I'm going to get a few days of uh, overflow uh, and adjustment, but it's, it's essentially starting to skim. You can see here, it's kind of producing a little bit of a wet skim right now, uh, but uh, I'll adjust it. Uh, and uh, and uh, make it uh, a little bit drier uh, but so far I'm really liking it uh, you're getting like nice kind of a uh, fine bubble white bubbles uh, on the bottom of uh, the skimmer and uh, they're coming up here and exploding and releasing all of that gunk and uh, let me just show you this this is kind of really one of the main reasons that I got this uh, look at that nice super easy i plan to do that like uh once a day or twice a day uh, and uh, keep this uh, neck uh, clean and make the skimmer more efficient uh, so far i'm really enjoying it this is uh, kind of really nice to adjust you always know which direction you have to uh, uh, manipulate it and yeah so far i'm i'm really impressed uh, the sound isn't that bad. I actually, uh, it's been running 12 hours now. No noticeable uh, sound when uh, when the pump, when the cam is closed. I would say it's uh, about as quiet as uh, my uh, Bubble King Mini uh, 160. Uh, so, uh, so far so good. Uh, there's again a few reports of people complaining that it was uh, 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 not quiet and then there's a few people that were saying it's really quiet so I guess I was lucky and I got one of the quiet ones. Hey guys this is the skimmer after a week being in my tank and so far I am really impressed with it. So this is uh, all the skimmate that it has collected uh, in a week. Uh, I'd say maybe that's uh, a little bit more than uh, a quarter of a liter and it's a little bit on uh, it's a little bit on the wet side, so I'll uh, fine-tune it a bit. Um, it's really easy. I like how this knob has a plus or a minus. You, know, you can't really get confused about which way to uh, tune it. My uh, Bubble King 
it was just kind of a tube and and it worked in both directions so it made it a bit tricky to uh, fine-tune but this is really easy so I'm just gonna give it a bit of a turn so I'm really impressed uh, it's been working like a champ no overflows uh, there's just no adjustment in the height I just plopped it in last week and it's it started skimming right away essentially uh, every day I've been uh, cleaning the neck I really like it so cleaning the net is important because uh, as the bubble rises, sometimes you get deposits uh, on the skimmer neck here, and that actually reduces the efficiency of skimming. So cleaning the skimmer, the skimmer neck on a regular basis is really critical to make sure this is working efficiently. The outside uh, cleaning, like the actual collection cup on the inside, kind of this really doesn't matter because, well, the bubbles are already out of your system at that point. So uh, this is fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how far I'm gonna <laughs> fill this before I drain it. Uh, I, I am I am trying to kind of minimize the amount of work, so I, I don't want to be taking this apart and cleaning it every week. So the skimmer neck is uh, the neck cleaner has been working really well. Uh, noise wise, really uh, honestly, I mean I'm I'm not gonna say it's quiet because uh, you know nothing is really quiet, but I'll just say that when I replaced my bubble king with this uh, I haven't noticed any uh, I haven't noticed that the tank is noisier so I would say that it's uh, as quiet as uh, as my bubble king uh, mini 160 the only negative thing that I'll say and, and it's not really like a critique on the skimmer itself uh, but rather my old bubble king mini had these little holes where I had the float switch here. So if this ever overflowed, the float switch would turn off the skimmer. Uh, the problem with, with the, it's not, again, it's not a problem with, with the skimmer, it's just because there is no holes here and the whole lid kind of moves around. Even if I were to put a hole and mount my uh, float switch, every time I clean the neck, the float would be moving around and that's kind of not ideal. So I think I'm gonna have to get uh, one of these products that you know, like magnetically uh, couples a sensor uh, with uh, with a little uh, an actual optical sensor with a little module that will alert you if it, uh, and shuts down the power if it ever overflows. Uh, that's the only negative thing so far. But overall, I'm really impressed with this. It's definitely a keeper. I I don't think I'm gonna be when I get my motor back from the Bubble King Mini 160. That uh, they I had the motor had broken the Bubble King Mini 160. I had sent it to Germany and they they shipped me a new one. Uh, free of charge, uh, which is I think pretty impressive considering that uh, uh, the pump was out of warranty. Uh, so thank you, Bubble King. But I do like how this is a little bit sleeker. Uh, it's uh, I get a little bit more space up here. The Bubble King uh, was really high, so I think I'm gonna keep this on and I'm gonna have the Bubble King Mini as my backup. Okay, guys, hope you like this video. Uh, again, it's it's only been a week uh, and. Uh, I can't really speak to the quality and longevity of, of the unit, but I'll update you as, uh, as I go along. But so far, so good. Very happy with the product. Have a good one and see you around.